This video is closed captioned. The do's and don'ts of visiting Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Puerto Vallarta is a beautiful city located in Jalisco, Mexico, on the Pacific coast. With tropical beaches, a bustling nightlife, and unique adventures to be had, this is one destination that's sure to leave a great impression on the whole family. However, just like any tourist haven, there's no shortage of scams and tricks to avoid while having the time of your life. Mexican culture has always boasted a rich nightlife, and Puerto Vallarta is no exception. One of the best examples is the Rhythms of the Night Tour. Reviews of this tour are overwhelmingly positive, so you can be sure that this is a solid pick for a night of pure enjoyment. To start, you will check in for a sunset cruise around 7 p.m., complete with plenty of food and drink to get your night going properly. When you arrive at the Rhythms of the Night Show, be prepared for a night of entertainment. You'll be seated in a large arena for a live show designed by one of the most creative minds in entertainment, one of the original designers of Cirque du Soleil. There are dancers, contortionists, light, music, and fire. Each piece holds a historical legend of Mexico for the culturally minded. Playa Las Gamelas is a crystal clear beach that is gorgeous enough to be completely crowded with tourists, but it is a bit lesser known, so you'll be surrounded by nature rather than crowds. There are only a few condos nearby and very few businesses, so you'll need to pack some refreshments if you plan on staying long. The water here is reportedly among the calmest, so don't be afraid to get wet. Of course, since it is a bit off the main strip, take all the necessary precautions to ensure you don't get caught in a storm. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Are you a fan of strong drinks? Does the idea of a tour dedicated entirely to booze tickle your fancy? Then look no further than one of the many tequila-themed tours, such as Mexology. You'll be tipsy in no time as you visit the best local bars. And don't worry if you get in over your head. There's plenty of traditional Mexican cuisine to soak up that alcohol. Your tour guide is an expert in fun, so be prepared to go on partying into the night. Some of these tours are known to last throughout midnight. Not all of the culture in Puerto Vallarta can be experienced in hotels or restaurants. In order to get the full taste of Mexico, you'll need to take a stroll down the Malacón. Located on a mile-long strip beside the beach, this spot is positively alive with culture. From the best street tacos around to every kind of artist imaginable, there's no shortage of adventure to have at your own pace. To top it all off, there are even $1 margaritas that are sure to keep the good vibes going till you drop. Do whale watching. Go whale watching. It is one of the most popular things in Puerto Vallarta. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and this is one of the reasons why tourists crowd Puerto Vallarta from mid-December to the end of March to witness humpback whales jumping out of the waters when trying to impress the females nearby and giving you a whale dance show that you will never forget. There are many tours that you can choose from, but the best one is the one which has a marine biologist present who you on the boat explaining everything you need to know about whales. Now, to ensure that the fun keeps going and you don't run across any snags, here are a few things to avoid if you want a smooth vacation. Although Puerto Vallarta is indeed one of the safest cities in Mexico to visit, you still need to be just as watchful as you would in any foreign country. Don't venture out alone at night, especially to places outside of the main tourist areas. The risk of mugging is very low here, but the chances of being victimized are higher at night and off the beaten path. Please take precautions when you drink not to overdo it too much since it is far easier to scam, pickpocket, and swindle an inebriated tourist than it is a sober one. If you become uncomfortable in a not crowded area, take the first bus you find back home to your hotel. If I've said it once, I've said it a dozen times. Do not drink the tap water in Mexico unless you live there long enough to be accustomed to it. The internet is full of reports that people have gotten sick after drinking the local water. So be ready to buy or bring water bottles aplenty. One good thing is that most places in Mexico are aware of local water's effect on tourists and will happily sell you plenty of water bottles anywhere you go. Be ready for a difficult night ahead if you find yourself out of choices. It wouldn't be a bad idea to bring some Pepto-Bismol just in case. Scams and tourist traps are prevalent 
prevalent in any major destination, and this one will start the second you get off the plane. Timeshare salespeople are always the first to greet you when you arrive, offering all kinds of help finding a ride, bringing your luggage, helping you with currency exchange, anything but the word timeshare. This is because they are very aware that tourists will start to say no as soon as they figure out they're listening to a sales pitch. So don't let them convince you that they're on your side. In fact, don't even make eye contact. They only have one goal, and that is to sell you a timeshare. While these vacation contracts can sound like an easy way to save money on your yearly trips, they are often fraught with legally binding clauses that ensure you stay in the contract for as long as possible. Cancellation fees can be in the thousands of dollars, and they are notoriously difficult to get out of, if you can at all. While this may seem like an easy enough problem to avoid, be careful. These salespeople are very well trained and experienced, so they know just how to appear helpful until you sign on the dotted line. Another situation to avoid is exchanging your money at the airport. Although other cities like Mexico City might offer a better exchange rate at the airport, Puerto Vallarta is different. The rates at airports are usually very high and can include extra fees that should never be part of currency exchange. The best places to swap currency here will be at the bank storefront exchange booths. And if all else fails, there are ATMs you can use but inside the bank, please. You can help prevent being swindled here by checking the exchange rate for USD to pesos before you leave. That way, you have an idea of what is fair and what is a ripoff. This one can catch tourists by surprise because taxis are prevalent in big cities worldwide. However, it is best not to take any taxis in Puerto Vallarta, especially at the airport that is a big don't. Since taxi drivers have no meter, they ask whatever they like depending on how you look and if you speak Spanish or not for sure. Locals pay less than tourists. Prices can be two or three times as high as just using an Uber, and even more than that compared to a public transit bus. Sure, you might get there faster or have more privacy, but wouldn't you rather spend that money on entertainment or food? This is definitely something to avoid if you're looking to keep economically sound during your trip since not everyone has money they can just throw away. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico is a wonderful tourist destination filled with excitement, culture, and plenty of adventure for the nightlife-loving people worldwide. Plenty of music, live entertainment, dancing, dining, and drink await you if you can avoid the pitfalls of the tourist industry. Hopefully, with these tips in your arsenal, you're prepared to avoid the scams and quickly find the most enjoyable destinations for you and your family to visit. Just remember, always check out our channel for advice before you book a vacation so that you'll know what to look for and what to expect. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. So, you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.